Hi, I'm Chad Nalon, and today we're going to be upgrading the brakes on this 200 series Toyota Land Cruiser. Not only are we going to be installing new DBA 4000 series rotors, as well as new pads, but we'll be doing back-to-back -back testing of the upgraded brakes against the existing hardware in emergency stopping situations. This will show us just how much real-world improvement we can garner when it comes to emergency stopping distances, which is where it counts the most. The Land Cruiser is an absolute staple in the four-wheel drive world, and let's face it, more often than not, they're loaded up to within an inch of their towing capacity, sometimes even over it. A caravan, boat, or essentially any extra load being hauled behind can add untold amounts of weight to your rig, and it's usually the poor old factory brakes that have to deal with all that stress. We won't be using a trailer today for safety's sake, but we did stop by the local Weybridge to see just how much weight we're trying to pull up with this unladen Land Cruiser, which would only be further exacerbated when fully laden. By the way, it comes in at around three tonnes. To keep parity in the way that we're measuring the braking performances, we're going to be basing our test off the German AMS test. This is where you do 10 full ABS stops in very quick succession. You can then measure the temperatures to see how they affect the braking distance. The test will be 10 full ABS stops from 100 km per hour back down to zero, conducted in quick succession. A V-Box will be used for the collection of the data, with thermocouples for the collection of the rotor temperatures. The V-Box was chosen as it is calibrated specifically for brake testing and can be used in certifications should it be required. From the data collected, we will be able to measure vehicle speed and position at brake application, when the brake was applied and the position in metres, stopping distances in metres, time to stop and rotor temperature over time. Okay, first test, factory brakes, we've got the DBA crew on board. I'm going to hit 100, I'm going to jam on the brakes. Now. Alright, fairly standard. Okay, lucky 10, still on the factory brakes, 90 k's an hour, and 100. Come on, stop baby. <laughs> Whew, we got it stopped eventually. That took a while, but all right, that's all 10 done. It's time to go back, have a look at the data on the factory brakes, and we'll uh, put on a set of DBAs and see how we go. Brake upgrades are often overlooked when it comes to a four-wheel drive. And this is really strange because not only are they an absolute necessity for hauling heavy loads around, but they're one of the simplest, one of the cheapest, and definitely one of the most effective upgrades you can make to a four-wheel drive. We're upgrading our vehicle with DBA 4000 series rotors, DS Performance brake pads, and Ferrota Performance dot 5.1 brake fluid. The DBA 4000 T3 slotted survival series discs make tackling more advanced braking situations a thing of ease. Of course, they feature DBA's patented kangaroo pore vein ventilation system, which alone outperforms straight vein rotors by up to 20% by increasing heat dissipation. Now we've just got to bed these new brakes in and then head back to the track to test them against our earlier results. Okay, so we've got the new 4000 series rotors ready to go. The DBA crew are ready for the results. 100 k's an hour. Here we go, stop. <laughs> I felt that all right. Whew. So we've done about five to six tests now, and it's as if the distances are getting shorter as the brakes are heating up. 90. Stop! Wow, they pull up. Now for the tech stuff. Our V Box data shows that with the DBA discs, DS pad, and Ferrodo fluid upgrade, we completed 10 successful 100km to 0km stops with no noticeable brake fade. We were able to consistently decelerate the 3 tonne Land Cruiser at an additional 1.52 metres per second over the OE combination. We achieved an average 6.5 metre reduction in stopping distance. And at the point where the DBA setup is stopped, the OE setup is still travelling at 37 kilometres per hour. And remember, that's unladen. Add a caravan, boat trailer or camping gear in addition to that 3 tonne and you're talking serious heat transfer and g-forces to stop, 
which cements why a DBA upgrade is a must have. It's quite astonishing to see just how much a simple disc and pad upgrade can improve the braking system without increasing either the physical disc size or even fitting new calipers. Hopefully this video has given you plenty to think about when it comes to a worthwhile, cost-effective upgrade for your four-wheel drive. For more information, check out our website, dba.com.au.